I was recently asked to explain about the hard line between a business analyst and a project owner. So here it is. There isn't one. In truth, it's usually a matter of scale and scope that determines the final responsibilities of the players involved. It's kind of up to the team, including the business analyst, product owner, and all other players on the team to determine who does what. Let me explain. At the smallest scale of a scrum team, the organization probably has one, maybe two products, and the product owner is fully dedicated to and is the expert on the product's ins and outs. There aren't any processes or stakeholders that the owner isn't intimately knowledgeable about. They fulfill 100% of product owner responsibilities like creating roadmaps, deciding priority, writing the user stories, refining them, and validating them. They attend all the ceremonies and everyone is happy. No business analysts necessary. Now, as the organization grows, so too does the scale and scope of the product itself and the product owner's responsibilities. There are a variety of ways that this can complicate things. First, the product owner might be more than a product owner. They might own a process or division that might use the software, but that software is only part of their entire picture. They might be responsible for the users of that software, meaning they also manage people. They might also have to make decisions and manage processes that aren't entirely within the software itself. And or they might be responsible for multiple related softwares that have different scrum teams. Long story short, they can't dedicate 100% of their time to just that one software application. They still have to be the final decision maker on the roadmap and priorities, but they may not have the time to define, refine, split all the stories into the workable chunks needed by the development team. This is where a business analyst could step in, take the high level requirements, features, or epics, and work with the team to break them down often working with the product owner to clarify things and make final decisions. In addition to having a product owner with multiple responsibilities, you might also have an application that has many downstream impacts on other business processes, stakeholders, and other applications. Someone needs to be able to chase down those impacts, communicate them to all parties, and document the business impacts of different decisions. Now, depending on the responsibilities of the product owner, they may or may not want to or be able to take on some of those things. So you have to work together to kind of agree on who will do what. When I work with a product owner, my goal is basically to be their right hand, whether it's breaking down the features into stories that meet all stakeholder needs, helping them make good decisions, or even working as their proxy to speak on their behalf or best interest. The level of trust your product owner has in you is a good measure of how well you're doing your job as a business analyst. And this is true in both agile and waterfall organizations. So just to recap, the product owner is responsible for direction and priority. But beyond that, there's no hard line between a business analyst and a product owner. If you are hired to specifically be a business analyst on an agile team, you are there to help reduce risk by facilitating better understanding of all the moving parts that might be difficult for a product owner given their other responsibilities. I hope that helps. As usual, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments or send me a message using one of the mechanisms in the description. I will either answer you directly or make a whole new video just like this one. So subscribe to see those questions get answered. Thanks for watching.